Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about Generic Medicines Prescription Guidelines. I am Dr. Suresh Badanmat, Professor of Psychiatry, working at National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Bangalore. In this video, I will be discussing about what is the difference between patented, patented medicine, branded generic medicines and generic medicines. Further, I will also be discussing about what were the RMP's regulation which discussed about generic medicines in 2002 regulation, amended in 2016, what did they say, and currently 2023. I will also discuss about the guidelines which have been highlighted under the RMP's Professional Conduct Regulations 2023 and critiquing this regulation. First, let's understand about patented medicine. A patented medicine is also known as innovator drug or a research drug. It is a medication that has been developed and brought to the market by a pharmaceutical company after undergoing extensive research, clinical trials and regulatory approval process. These drugs are protected by patents granted by respective government authorities which provide exclusive rights to the drugs manufacturer to produce, to sell, to distribute and fix the price. The, the duration of patent is invariably 20 years from the date of filing the patent. These patented medicines will be costly. The main reason being is these companies have invested in research, in discovery of these molecules, testing of these drugs, phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3 clinical trials and the cost also includes the failure of those drugs which did not see the light of the market. Hence, the patented medicines are very costly. Now let's understand what is this branded generic medicine. Branded generic medicine refers to a category of medications that fall between the traditional name that is patented drugs and standard generic medicine. These branded generic medicines are those medicines which come out of the patented time duration. That means after 20 years, the patented molecule can be manufactured by many other companies also. And they can be marketed under a specific brand name and that is called as branded generic medicine. These are the companies who do not have patented for that molecule but since the patent has expired, various companies in their brand name will launch these medicines. Hence, they are called as branded generic medicine. Finally, there is another term called as Generic medicine, also called as standard generic medicine. These generic medicines are medications that are equivalent to branded name drugs in terms of active ingredients, dosage, strengths, administration and intended use. This will typically be sold under the generic name without a brand association. Invariably, in the chemical proprietary name, it will be sold. That is, it will be sold in the chemical name. Let's understand how they are differing. On the one end of the spectrum, we have patented medicine. In the middle, we have branded generics. On the other end, we have standard generic medications. The patented molecules are highly costly because they have invested in research and the molecules which did not see the light of the day also will be costed. And if you look at the, on the other end, the economical standard generic medicines which are sold under the chemical name. So, these are the terms you should know when we are discussing about generic medications. Now, let's understand what was the MCI regulation in 2002. MCI regulation 1.5 clearly says that every physician should as far as possible prescribe drugs with generics name. That was in 2002. The MCI again amended the regulation in 2016. What did they say? In this they said, every physician 
should prescribe drugs with generic names. That means from 2016, every registered medical practitioner in India should prescribe generic medicine. This is there from 2016 MCI Professional Conduct Regulations, my dear friends. Now let's understand in 2013 what has changed. Under National Medical Commission Act 2019, a regulation was released on 2nd of August 2023. This regulation was called as Professional Conduct of Registered Medical Practitioners Regulation 2023. Now let's understand what this regulation discusses about generic medicine and their prescription guidelines. This regulation has five chapters and 44 regulations and the first guideline is generic medicine and prescription of these generic medicines. Let's look into this. This regulation 8 under this professional conduct of RMP's regulation clearly says that every RMP is expected to prescribe drugs using generic names written legibly and prescribe drug rationally, avoiding unnecessary medications and irrational fixed dose combinations. What is the penalty given to doctors if they don't prescribe generic medications? As per Regulation 8, the punishment is at L1 and L2 level only, my dear friends. L1 is reformation or advisory or warning. Reformation is asking the doctor to undergo certain training. L2 level of penalty means one month suspension of license to practice. Actually, many of the public has argued for not writing a generic medicine, the punishment is very less. Although many doctors have said it is barbaric. One need to understand from the public health perspective. It says every RMP is expected. That means just an expectation or it is a cast of obligation. This is a doubt among various RMPs. This is Regulation 8. However, there is a guideline attached to this regulation. We need to read this to interpret this regulation 8. Now let's understand this guideline which is there in this regulation. The key principle in this guideline 1, it says that generic medicines are 30 to 80 percent cheaper than the branded generic medicines and also patented molecule. Hence, prescribing generic medicines may overtly bring down the healthcare cost and improve access to quality healthcare. Now, what does this guideline defines? It defines generic names. What is generic name means non-proprietary or approved name of a drug is also known as the generic name of the drug. Generic drug or medicine means it is defined as a drug product that is comparable to branded, reference listed product in dosage, dosage form, strength, route of administration, quality and performance, characteristics and intended use. Here you need to understand generic name means non-proprietary, approved drug has been the word. Branded generic means is one which is come off of the patent and is manufactured by drug companies and sold under different companies brand names. That means once the patented molecule, the patent has expired, various companies will manufacture these generic molecules in their branded name. They are called as branded generics. These drugs may be less costly than the branded patented version, but costlier than the bulk manufactured generic version of this drug. There is a regulatory control over the price of these branded generic drugs also and it is less regulation compared to other molecule. So these are the difference and if you look at the costing, patented drug or a patented molecule is highly costly, branded generic may be less costly and the economical one is generic medicine or generic drugs my dear friends. So what does this guidance or a guideline about the generics 
under the regulation is given. The guideline says that prescribed drug, drugs with generic, non-proprietary, pharmacological names only. That means standard generic medications has to be prescribed. In the case of drug with a narrow therapeutic index or biosimilars and similar other exceptional cases, the practice can be relaxed. That means you can prescribe branded generics, my dear friends. So, the guideline is very crystal clear. It clearly says we need to prescribe standard generics, also called as non-proprietary or pharmacological names, my dear friends. The second guideline says prescribe drug rationally and optimally. Both over-prescribing and under-prescribing are to be avoided keeping in mind the possible drug interaction. Fixed dose combination are to be used judiciously. Only approved rational fixed dose combinations to be prescribed and also advocate for hospitals and local pharmacies to stock generic drugs Prescribe only those generic medicines that are available in the market and accessible to the patient. Avoid prescribing branded generic drugs. Here, the guideline 5 is very clear. Encourage patients to purchase the drugs from Janaushadi Kendra and other generic pharmacy outlets. Educate medical students, patients, and the public regarding the equivalence of generic medicine with their branded counterparts should actively participate in programs related to promotion and access to generic medicines. MBBS and PG students will be trained in the value of prescribing generic medicines, my dear friends. Written prescription should be legible, preferably in full capital to avoid misinterpretation. As far as possible, prescription should be typed and printed to avoid the errors. Now let's understand the critic on this regulation of 2023. The positive aspects. If you prescribe standard generic medicine, cost of medicine will come down dramatically or remarkably. Hence, the patient can access healthcare. Access to medicine is one of the important route. Hence, right to access healthcare will become a reality under sustainable developmental goals which the India is a signatory. And hence, these standard generics also is a vision of make in India and will become a reality. And poor patients can afford these, afford these medicines. Now let's look into the negative aspect of this generic medicines and the regulation. Many of the doctors have raised concerns about this quality control of this bulk manufacturing of generic medicines. Whether the bioequivalency, effectiveness, safety, are they monitored regularly is a big question because they are giving at the very economical price. Do they keep control on the quality is the question asked by various doctors across India. Many a time, the doctor will write the chemical name. Invariably, the pharmacist will replace the brand of his choice where he gets maximum margin of benefit or else the benefit of getting more money. Again, the patient will be the loser. Does, by making generic medicine to be written or prescribed by a drug, does it serve, serve the purpose unless the pharmacist is regulated? This is the question asked by IMA. Further, in the larger picture, Generic medicines will kill the R&D culture, that is research and development culture will be destroyed. Innovation India will be a dream, my dear friends. If you write generic mandatory, are we achieving the goal? Why should government allow a patented molecule, branded generic molecule and standard generic molecule? You have allowed them to market in India and you are forcing the doctor to write only generic medicines. What wrong? The branded generics have done or patented molecules companies have done. That means it is a half-hearted effort. This is the critical comments given by various 
doctors, Indian Medical Association and various doctors societies. They have also questioned why can't government regulate and allow only the cheapest generic molecule in the market and ban all other medications which are costly so that the poor patient is benefited. They also urged the government to come up with one nation, one molecule and one price. That means the government is pro poor patients. This is an urge called by the Indian Medical Association. To conclude my dear friends, from 2002 to 2023, the journey, the journey of generic molecule prescription regulation is like this. In 2002, MCI regulation said that the doctor should, as far as possible, that means it was an expectation. In 2016, they made it mandatory. That means every physician should prescribe generic medicine. But in 2023, it clearly says every RMP is expected to prescribe generic medicine. That means you are going to prescribe standard generic medicine, not even branded generics, my dear friends. NMC move to cast obligation on RMPs to prescribe only generic medicine is a welcome step from the public health perspective and patient perspective. Unless the government regulates even the pharmacist for dispensing only the generic medicine, it will not be a success and the poor patient will be at loss. And this regulation will be discriminatory practice against the doctors, allowing pharmacists to sell medicines at their wish and will and whims and fancies. Hence, the IMA has urged the government should regulate and cap the price of each molecule and come up with one molecule, one price, one nation. And so, this will be one of the way of regulating the price of the molecule in India and so the poor patient gets benefits. Thank you very much for giving your valuable time. Stay safe.